I think they came out here this morning to check on the blueberries. But I've been completely distracted just by how pretty everything is after all the rain. What I really wish right now is that I could somehow get through the camera the smell. And that that's in a good way. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, it's a combination of all sorts of good things. Like you can smell the pine trees and you can smell kind of the dirt, but not like in a bad way. And every now and then you get a smell of flowers that you're not sure where the flower smell is coming from. And a lot of the time, there's a scent to the air up here that's kind of like raspberries. Which drives me absolutely crazy because raspberries are my favorite fruit. And I so very rarely actually find the thing that smells like raspberries to actually be a raspberry. It's kind of unfair. having a good old time eating. <laughs> He's kind of cute. And this littler one next to him. But he is going to town on this leaf. I wonder if they have something in them that stops the leaves from doing the milk thing. Because I'm not seeing the sap. You can kind of watch the leaf just disappear as he eats it. Oh, also, from what I understand, the flowers, when they're at this stage, taste a lot like broccoli if you stir-fry them. At least that's what I heard from a um, kind of wilderness eater type channel on YouTube. Oh, wow, there's a couple more of them over here. Am I actually getting the right plant? Good question. No, I wasn't. He's a big guy. <laughs> I think we have enough milkweed in this field. Maybe. And almost every one of these plants has at least one monarch butterfly caterpillar on it. This dude wants to eat the flowers because he heard that they taste like broccoli. I'm sure that's what it is, right? Oh my gosh, look at him. They look like little tigers. Maybe since I'm always talking about their caterpillars, we should look at one of the adults. <laughs> Not in the milkweed. This guy's definitely in the clover.
from tigers to spotty things. Kind of figures that the minute I pulled out the camera and turned it on, the birds would stop all of their singing. Oh, there we go. The music of the woods. So just a good indicator of just how tiny wild blueberries are. They're pretty small, but they're also pretty good. And there is a chickadee somewhere laughing at me. I hear you. I don't see you though. I do appreciate all the birds. Not enough to actually not turn on music, but that's more to let all the animals know that I'm coming. I still see plenty of animals even with the music on, but maybe it keeps the bears away. Well, speaking of blueberries, they appear to have appeared. Not super thick just yet, but definitely ripe berries. So as far as berries go, I wouldn't call it a super successful day, but I'm actually really excited because I found some wild strawberries to go with the few blueberries. It's just a tiny container. There's a few more in this field that I'm going to pick, but I'll still call it a successful day because I usually don't get the um, wild strawberries. Usually everything else gets to them before I ever do. So I'm going to call today a win. Hard to see, but I'm pretty sure that's a baby. Mm -hmm. 